My law and welcome to episode 68 of Breakfast Bites by Tevovosports.com. A wrap of Pacifica People's Sports on this beautiful, warm and sunny Tuesday morning, 6 September 2022. Coming to you from the 180th Meridian in the middle of the Pacific Ocean. Go Papa, go Papa Roni. Thank you, Kailani. In rugby, over 24 representatives from member unions including Fiji, Samoa, Solomon Islands, Tonga, Nauru, Tuvalu, Vanuatu, Papua New Guinea, and Kiribati are attending a combined World Rugby and Oceania Rugby National Development Managers Meeting in Suva this week, the first time since 2020. I wonder what they're having for morning tea, and lunch, and the rest. In Rugby League, catching up with all the scores from Week 3 of the 2022 NRL Women's Premiership, the Sydney Roosters smoked the St. George Dragons 34-6, the Broncos Blondes bronzed the Gold Coast Titans 22-4, and the Newcastle Knights pipped the Parramatta Eels 18-14 with a last-minute try. In football... Let's get ready to rumble! The reigning and 14 times champions of Europe, Real Madrid, have landed in Glasgow to take on Celtic in a Sylvester Stallone Rocky-like fight in their Champions League game. The last time Celtic played Real Madrid was like over 40 years ago. In the NFL, television viewership, and so advertising in NFL games, is at an all-time high. Fox is already selling TV ads for next February's Super Bowl, quoting, would you believe, US $6 million for a 30-second TV spot. In boxing, it was close, but Mexican Michelin man Andy Ruiz beat veteran Cuban warrior Louis Ortiz by unanimous points decision at the aptly named Crypto.com Arena in Los Angeles yesterday to win their WBC heavyweight elimination belt. Three knockdowns by the Mexican Ruiz was the difference. Ortiz is like 50 already, isn't he? Jake Paul is probably lining him up for a fight in the next year or two. In tennis, awful Aussie Nick Kyrgios beat and has dethroned the world number one ranked tennis player Daniel Mev- Medvedev 7636636262 in just under three hours last night in New York to advance to the US Open quarterfinals. Go Nick Go! Meanwhile, 80 year old crackpot Aussie Margaret Court winner of 27 or 24 Grand Slam singles championships in the amateur era, says she admires Serena Williams for what she has done in tennis. However, Court doesn't believe Williams feels the same about her. I don't think she has ever admired me, Court told ESPN. In fact, Margaret Court believes she isn't loved in the tennis world because of her strong Christian beliefs, including Opposing same-sex marriage. Okay. Um, She went on to say that uh, she had a better record than Williams after both became mothers in their careers. I came back after two babies. After having the first baby, I won three out of the four slams, Margaret Court said. Serena hasn't won a slam since having a baby. Overall, Margaret Court won 64 majors titles, the most in tennis history. Williams has won 39 major titles, which include singles, doubles, and mixed doubles. Court finished by saying, The era Williams played in is easier than it was in my day. Lovely old lady, isn't she? I'm honestly speechless. For TaveOverSports.com, I'm Cullen Kamir. Mahalo, vina'a, and thank you. Bye, Papa, bye, Papa Roddy. Thank you, Kailani. Please subscribe by hitting the uh, button below if you'd like to receive more Pacifica Sports highlights on Breakfast Bites. And thank you, Tumas, for all your love and support.